Hey guys, it's Josiah Willis from Caliber Real Estate here to chat with you a little bit about how to pick the right real estate agent. Um, this is something that is really important. Um, many people out there don't believe that there's a, much of a difference be between agents. Um, I'm just here to tell you that is completely false. Uh, that is not the truth. Um, I'm going to kind of share with you uh, what you should be looking for in an agent and how to pick them. So the first thing is I'm going to kind of give you a background of where we're at in real estate these days because things have changed obviously with technology. So these days, you know, if you're looking to buy a property, it's pretty simple to find your own property that you're interested in and then let a real estate agent know, right? Because you have these tools like Zillow, uh, Redfin, uh, Trulia, tons of different softwares that you can use, right, at your fingertips. So. The uh, MLS is the multiple listing service. As us agents, we have access to, uh, we can end up sending you um, properties uh, using the MLS um, automatically, giving your, your certain criteria you're looking for. And that's really helpful. But at the same time, in today's market, your average buyer can find a property without an agent's help, right? So it is a, a level of service that an agent should be able to provide, helping you find the place. But agents need to be a lot more competitive now in what they offer their clients on the basis of um, now the client is basically doing some of their own legwork because they're finding these properties using these new softwares that have come available to them. So the biggest thing that an agent can help you with um, is the negotiating and the, uh, the valuing and comping of a property and making sure you're getting into a property at the right price. Um, those things are paramount. Um, but what's cool about Caliber is we kind of circumvent the first thing that was lost because of technology. We've actually developed our own proprietary software that allows us to uh, find properties uh, for our clients and our clientele includes uh, people who are wanting to buy and sell homes, um, but also clients who are wanting to buy and sell investment properties. Um, and so this could be single family, multifamily, uh, condos, um, you know, Detached, detached single family homes, anything like that. So our software actually uh, is keeping track of anything that's hitting the foreclosure market. Um, and so that, that gives our investors or people wanting to buy a primary residence another source of properties that wouldn't actually be listed um, on the MLS and thus Redfin or Zillow or Trulia, etc. So that allows us to have more um, more properties available for our clients than your, your traditional brokerage out there. We're also sourcing um, properties off of the MLS, which means we're directly working with sellers, um, contacting them directly, working with them and locking down those properties um, so that we have those as another option and, and pipeline, so to speak, um, to offer to our own clients. Um, that's different than most brokerages. Most brokerages only deal with what's on the market. Uh, we understand how to deal with foreclosures, REOs, short sales, um, like I already mentioned, off-market, uh, pre-foreclosure, all those. Um, so that's sort of uh, one of the things you should be looking for in an agent, whether it be us or not, is uh, what kind of properties they have access to because generally um, your run-of-the-mill agent is not doing you any service if you can find most of the properties on your own uh, via Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, etc. So the other thing is the, the negotiating. So because we do the investing side, we're constantly negotiating on behalf of our own clients, but on behalf of ourselves as well. A lot of us agents actually do the investing side, so we understand um, how to negotiate because we're just doing it more often than your average agent is. Um, what that means is we understand price points in specific markets. We understand what, uh, what is going, um, what is popular in that market what it's going for and what the demand is from the client side um, in terms of what is selling re retail really well. So like what kinds of materials you should use, um, you know, what, what neighborhood, um, what the cap is in that neighborhood in terms of value that you can get out of it, no matter how much money you put into it. We understand that. So we, the, the key to negotiating is actually um, getting as much information as possible from the other side to then use that to your advantage, right? Um, and that sounds really salesy, but it's you know it's sort of how negotiating works. Um, the more information you can you can glean from the person you're negotiating with, the better negotiator you can become. And that's something that we we try over and over again, practice 
makes perfect or permanent essentially. Um, and we're also going when we off, when we outsource another. Um, sorry, let me back up. When we actually source a, a property with the seller directly, um, which would, would be considered off market, uh, we're going into the seller's uh, living room and sitting down with them and, and chatting with them and, and figuring out how to. Um, make the transaction work for both of us. But uh, just that level of experience, that's something you want to make sure that your agent has is understanding the negotiating process because that's probably uh, the biggest thing that's important to, um, you know, to a client that's looking to buy or sell a property, such as yourself, perhaps. Um, one of the things I think is funny is discount brokerages. Um, they're willing to waive pretty much everything on behalf of their buyer. Uh, and the very reason is because they, they're they usually paid salary, um, whereas we're paid commission here at Caliber. And when you're salary and you're working for a large corporation, uh, you have certain sales quotas that you're supposed to hit, but you also have um, your, your paid salary. So you're not really getting the commission side. So it's sort of, I think they have a bonus structure, but the, the thing is it puts the client in a position that's not a win-win for them because ultimately it's all about getting the deal done um, from the uh, agent at a discount brokerage's position, which means that they sacrifice uh, so some of the stuff that they should have fought for for their client in order to get the seller to accept the offer, which might mean that they go above what the house is actually worth when they instruct their client that they should offer more, or it means that they waived contingencies like inspections or um, financing contingency or whatever the case may be. Um, that's because discount brokerages make their money on uh, transaction volume. And when you have the same business model as Walmart, I mean, it's sort of like, would you as a client want your uh, biggest financial purchase in life to be run by somebody who works for essentially a Walmart? Probably not. Um, but anyway, that's something to be wary of. They're not all agents are bad at work at discount brokerages, but that's something to be aware of. Um, no one talks about that really, so I want to let you know um, what is at stake here. The other thing is sort of what I've already mentioned is just market knowledge, understanding markets. Um, you know, you don't have to be from a specific uh, neighborhood to understand the neighborhood. Uh, there's a lot of tools available to understanding market, local market conditions, but. Um, I myself is, am a finance background, so I have a very analytical stance on how I view properties and neighborhoods. Um, and I think that serves me, me well in uh, real estate because that's part of the reason why I wanted to get into real estate is not only helping people buy and sell homes, but also learn the investing side. And that's also why I joined Caliber. But uh, many agents uh, don't do the, the necessary um, work to figure out um, price points to the point where they should be completely familiar and comfortable with explaining to a client. Um, I think that's really important um, when you're looking for an agent. Make sure that they that they have done their homework, that they have the experience needed, um, and make sure that they're a detail-oriented person. Honestly, and I say that because I am one, so that that, those, that is a little bit of a bias, but I'm acknowledging that. Um, but I think it's important because uh, having the focus to be a detail-oriented person is important because you're not going to let little facts or important details fall through the cracks. And that's really important when it comes to contracts. You know, part, part of what we do as agents is, you know, they talk about how you're a, it's kind of a joke that I heard from another agent. You're basically a counselor or psychologist. Um, you're a, uh, a consultant because you're consulting your client on what to do. And you're a lawyer essentially because you're handling contracts and paperwork that are legally binding. So, uh, it's really important to be a detail-oriented person because you don't want to let anything fall through the cracks, so to speak, because they could have huge repercussions, um, especially when you're dealing with assets that are worth, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, even up to in the millions. So uh, it's really important that you find a, an agent that um, is detail-oriented. And you can kind of find that out based on questioning them and answering, having them answer your questions. Um, obviously, each person's uh, needs are unique, um, but, you can pretty much find out whether or not your agent is uh, a detail-oriented person by asking the right questions. So I, I really commend you to do that. I, I recommend you do that. Um, but those are the main things, market knowledge, uh, you know, negotiating skills, and uh, the experience and what kind of services uh, the, the agent has available to you as a client. So 
That's kind of why I joined Caliber. I was actually at another Cal or at another agency prior to joining Caliber, and uh, it was just a really nice natural move for me to come here because of the entrepreneurial environment, but also because of what they offer their clients and their agents. And that's why we're number nine in uh, fastest growing companies in the Puget Sound Business Journal. So um, really happy to be here. Hope you guys would like to work with us. Um, please shoot me a call or an email or a text if you're interested or if you know anyone who is looking to buy or sell real estate, either on the investing side or as a primary residence. So thank you guys. Hope this was helpful. There'll be more videos coming soon.